Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage. I am working on the timing cover. I've kind of already done some of the work. So I took a fine bristle brass brush. Uh, it was new. Uh, basically when I started it's kind of dirty now. From getting off all the RTV that was on the bottom and uh, left around from the old gasket. I also used acetone on it to help take it off. It did take a little bit of work, but the brass doesn't scratch up the aluminum. So that's why I did that. So we're going to have to align this to the engine, to the crankshaft. And the reason that is, is because the hub of the damper needs to ride uh, nicely in the seal that we're going to be installing. So what I'm going to use is this alignment tool from SacCityCorvette.com. They make a couple different ones. This one uh, fits right in here. I've oiled the O-ring a little bit and it just presses in and this will align to the crank and it's got a keyway for the for the key in the crankshaft. Once we get that aligned we'll verify that the bottom of this is flush with the bottom of the block that's very important you know that we get it lined up this way correctly it's lined up and down somewhat through the tool but we still have to kind of tweak it before we torque the bolts Okay, so as you can see, I've also cleaned up the block, got rid of any RTV, and also underneath, um, in case you're wondering, the white marks I put on the oil pump uh, after I torqued these to 106 inch pounds, um, just so I can see if they ever move. And so this is all good to go. We're going to put the gasket on and just give this a wipe. There's a little bit of oil on there from when I test fitted the cover. We're going to wipe that off real quick and then get going on it. This is a timing, uh, timing cover installation kit, I think is what they call it. Yeah, timing cover gasket set. I got this one from Jegs. Um, you want to spend a little more money, you could probably get some better brand names than this, I'm sure. Uh, kit comes pretty complete. Uh, for different LS engines. I'm not going to be using these because my engine doesn't require them. Uh, I am, I will be using these. These are the water pump gaskets. You have the front main seal and we're going to be taking this seal out right now. This is the integral seal. They, these are also integral seals and that just means it's a seal on aluminum. And this is going to be for the timing cover housing. We're going to put that on uh, when we align it. Alright, we got the gasket on there. I inspected the gasket to make sure all the rubber was good. There wasn't any missing pieces or anything. That it was clean. And I pushed the bolts in and the bolts just hold in there because there's rubber around the bolt. Now, I did have the air conditioning bracket loose in order to get uh, the wiring harness underneath the pan and to remove the pan. If you have the pan on and you already have the gasket you're gonna to have to clean up the RTV best you can and the installation if you have a pan on is is a little bit different than uh, than what I have in this situation um, you would have to put RTV in the corners uh, before you set this and probably along the edge of the oil pan too because you can't really clean that up with any chemical because you risk damaging the seal if you've bent the gasket, um, you might be okay to reuse it. It's kind of one of those things that uh, is difficult to know uh, unless I was actually there to see it for you, but you'll have to make your own judgment call. All right, so the keyway is lined up and just want to get the 
see started a little bit. You can put a little oil on the gasket if you want. I haven't found it to be necessary for this gasket. Just wanting to get all these started so I can go ahead and use my electric ratchet. I don't want to cross thread any of them. As you can see my air conditioner compressor is loose and that really doesn't have anything to do with this timing cover. It has more to do with the oil pan. So see there's not a lot of movement but there is a little bit. So this thing really takes up a lot of the slop and positions the cover correctly and it should be flat with the block down here. I'm going to get it a little bit closer to almost being tight so it doesn't move it in and out this way so much but I can still move it if I need to. I didn't use blue thread lock on this. I've never used it on the cover bolts and they've always been they've always been fine. Um, I don't think it would hurt if you used them. It would just kind of make a mess next time that you go to clean it up to, to do this for something else. So that's going to stay in there until I get these all torqued. If you don't have this tool, you can use um, the damper, but you'll have to have the seal installed. Uh, and then you use a damper to center it up. You'd have to put the damper on torque it down uh, with this kind of floating around and that'll do a pretty good job too. Um, there is some flex in the seal so you may not get as quite good as this but it'll be really good. I've done it before um, before I had this tool and it worked out pretty good. But I got this one because uh, that's its purpose and I've used it a couple times and this also acts as a seal installer. Okay so I'm just gonna go underneath and look to make sure the bottom of this is level with the block on this side and on this side and if it is I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these up just do those finger tight all the way around I should be able to still move it by tapping it oh so yeah so looking right down here right along that edge if I rotate the whole cover this way I can see the edge of the block poke through. Same as on this side. So I'm just rotating this until it's right along that edge. That looks really good right there. that corner because I think that one's good sure looks good and that one looks good too just Getting them not super snug, just making it so it can't move so easy. So right there, the black line going across, that's the gasket. And you can see the block here, and then the timing cover here. That, that is flat there. I actually got a straight edge, a very small steel ruler, and put it across the block. And it ran uh, flush with the cover too. And I did that the same with this side. And the cover is flush with the block. Uh, one is not higher up than the other. So now I know when I put my oil pan on with the oil pan gasket, it's all gonna be at the same height and it should seal. 
Now, you still have to put RTV here when you go to put the oil pan on, uh, or you pull it up if you happen to still have the pan on and just dropped. And you'll have to put a little bit across there too, as well as in the back, the two in the back. Same kind of thing. It's got a cover like that. It's got a uh, uh, place that needs RTV. So here we can see what the factory manual says to do to align the front cover to the block. They actually put this plate on and tighten those bolts to 18 foot pounds. And then they tell you to, um, of course this is their alignment tool as well, uh, to get it centered. And then they tell you to tighten the front cover bolts to 18 foot pounds. And that's what we're gonna do. Now we're going to just feel under there, make sure it just feels like it's still in alignment. I'm going to go underneath, put the straight edge on it. All right, so running my straight edge across there. I can see it still really looks good. Everything's nice and flush between the front cover and the block. And same with the other side. So nothing moved when I was torquing it. Now that it's all torqued and we verified that we're level, you can pull that right out. We're done with it. And I'm gonna clean up around in here and I'm going to clean the tool just so I don't get junk all over the seal. And we're going to put the seal in. I'm going to clean around here with a little bit of brake clean on a paper towel. So the seal, you can see the inner surface here where the damper rides. And then the outer surface that fits into the timing cover. Okay, so they say, do not lubricate the oil seal sealing surface. Do not use the crankshaft front oil seal again. Okay, always get a new one. But then it says, lubricate the outer edge of the oil seal with clean engine oil. At first I thought, well, they just said not to lubricate the sealing surface. They're talking about the inside sealing surface, not the outside. So they're wanting you to lubricate this outside with oil so it slides into the timing cover nice and easy. That's their seal installer. We don't have one of those. It would be nice if we did. Another reason why the timing cover is good to get lined up with the proper tool so that if you do use that tool, it presses it on nice and even. So here is the Sac City seal installer and my damper installer. And it's a great way to install this seal because it puts even pressure on the seal to force it into the timing housing. Um, make sure that when you put this bolt into the crank, you run it all the way to the end of the crank and then back it off a turn or two um, before you start uh, tightening the seal installer. You don't want this bolt bottomed out in the crank. Uh, you want it off of the bottom uh, a turn or two and then that, that's even for installing it, uh, installing the damper as well. So yeah, you just turn that and then you get that seal to lay down real nice in there until it's even and then you can back it off. But it makes for a really nice even seal install. Okay, everybody, that's it. Thanks for coming to the garage. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.